I'm going to show you how to create an online course totally for free with System. First, go to the system.io website or use the link in the description below. You're going to see this dashboard. Let's go to Assets on the top bar and then click on Courses. Then click on Add New Course, Add a Name and this will be our URL. Now select the theme and don't worry if you're not sure about the theme because you can change it later on. Click on save. Click on the three dots and go to settings. Here we can give the course a title, add your name and a description. You can also change some defaults. For example, you can put a certain color as a default theme and a font for the text. And here you can also add your photo, logo and course cover or thumbnail. You can also connect it to a sales funnel when you're ready to sell. Save the changes. Let's go back to our course dashboard and let's click on our new course. When you create a course, the first thing you have to do is create the models and lessons. A model is a section. If you need a little help with the structure of your course or you need new ideas to add, you can use an AI, for example, ChatGPT, and you can use a prompt like this. I want to create an online course about how to become a successful YouTuber for beginners. I wanted to have four models and each model three lessons. Give me the course structure and everything I should include. And it will give you the structure for the course you want to create. If you want to know how to sell your online course, you can check out our sales funnel tutorial. The link is in the description below. So I'm going to add the first models. Understanding YouTube, content creation and growth strategies. Then you can add lessons or lectures. In the model, Click on Add Lecture, give it a name, you can add a delay if you don't want to grant access immediately and choose one of the templates. I'm going to select the one with the video. What you can do is create one lesson and then use it as a template. You can duplicate it as many times as you want and then just change the content. Let's click on the first lesson and it's going to open the editor. First, we're going to see a menu on the left bar with elements and if you click an individual element, it'll give you a new menu on the side to customize that specific element. You can also add more elements if you want by dragging them from the left bar into the template. Now let's edit the template as we want. I'm going to delete everything I don't need and add my lessons information. I'm creating this base template that then I'll just duplicate and change the information. Since we already have a video on this template, I'm just going to click on it to activate the element configuration menu. And here we can see there are three ways of adding a video. Direct link, custom embedding or uploading a file. I'm going to select upload a file. Then I'm going to click on the upload icon. And here I'm going to select the file from my computer. Click on insert. I'll add a thumbnail to my video. You can also choose if you want the video to autoplay. And Let's make sure that the controls are set on on. This is important so the students can play or pause it as they need. Save the changes. Then you can click on the eye icon on the top right corner to see the preview. You'll see how the course experience looks like to students. You'll have to create all your models and lessons to see how the real experience looks like. On the preview, you'll see how the theme you selected looks like. And if you want to change it, you can click on Edit Theme Settings. For example, I realized that this background is too dark and I can see my logo. So I'm going to click it and change the color. You can save this personalized theme to use it in the future. Let's go back to the course dashboard and add the rest of our lessons. I'm going to duplicate the one I first created and just change the information for each lesson. To duplicate the lesson, click on the three dots and then click on Duplicate. Then you can just drag it, put in the correct model and edit it. To change the name, click on the three dots again and then click on settings. Now that we have all of our lessons, let's see the preview again. If you don't see the lessons you created, you'll have to go back to the editor and activate each lesson so that it goes live and appears to the students. This is very good because you can have multiple drafts and then just activate them for the students whenever you want. Let's add downloadable resources to our course. Back in the course outline, let's select a lesson. Then on the left part, let's look for the bottom element and drag it as I said before and drop it in. Now let's click on the bottom element. We'll see the configuration options on the left. Here we can see the action when the bottom is clicked. It could go to a URL, but you can also select download file. And down here you can upload the file you want the students to download. This way, when they click the bottom, they will be able to download the resource. If we scroll down, we can see other bottom configurations, like 
the text and I'm going to change it to click to download and I'm going to delete the additional subtext and I want to change the bottom color here. Let's click save changes and see the preview again. Now you can see the button below with the option to download the resource. Once you have created all the modules and lessons and your course is ready, the next thing you want to do is sell it. Learn how to do it by creating a sales funnel in our tutorial right here. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye!